How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to more Dark Souls. In the last episode, we made it to the Duke's Archive and managed to traverse to uh, what I'd call the halfway point. Uh, this episode, we will be heading down into the Crystal Cavern to finally hand it to Seath, who fucking cursed us, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> I also, at the beginning of this episode, had a preview for some things I was doing off-screen to kind of remedy what was happening for this episode because I didn't want to really do it on camera because it's a lot of backtracking and I'm not really sure you guys want to see a whole lot of mindless backtracking for just items that we might have missed or stuff that we you know would just we didn't we just, it's just kind of needed um first things first I went back and grabbed a purging stone which when used cures you of curse I think it also makes you resistant to curse so if you're like about to get cursed you can eat one but I don't know if that's what the case is um Another thing, I went back and received from the dark area, the dark forest area, the grass crest shield. Um, and with that, we are fucking fat rolling again, so I'm just gonna de equip some armor. Uh, ugh, I don't like where this is going. You're slightly less weight. Uh huh. That's good. Okay, I can do with a fat or not fat roll, a uh, fast roll like that. <clears throat> anyway, so now that we have the grass crest shield equipped, you don't even have to be able to like you don't have to use it to block. As long as you just have it on your party or on your party on your person, you receive a stamina regen bonus. Look at that. Stamina regen so good now. Um. Also, I don't know if I've ever explained it before. Those markers right below my stamina bar, those refer to the buffs that I have. In this case, I have three buffs. I have the yellow arrow, the blue shield arrow, and the three green arrows. Those just refer to the buffs that I carry. I carry the, the three green arrows, the stamina bu buff I get from my shield. The yellow arrow is the stat bonus I get from the fap ring. And then the blue shield ring is the defense bonus I get from the ring of protection. Anyway. Now we have to find a way to get down to this courtyard here because this is actually the entrance to where the Crystal Cave is, which is where Seath currently resides. Uh, it's not exactly an easy way to get down there, but if you've played this game before, you most likely know how to get down there. In this case, we're going to have to go up these stairs, round about some enemies. And get hit a few times, probably. That's alright. We were expecting to, ow, get hit. I'm gonna turn this corner, actually, because it'd be safer to heal over here. I didn't think there was an enemy here. Let's go ahead and one-shot you. Or, I guess I was assuming that would one-shot you. <sighs> One day, there will come a day where I don't die in... The Duke's Archive. One that. I fucking hate this area. <clears throat> oh. I didn't actually sit at the Duke Archive bonfire. This is the bonfire I was kind of using for a warp point whenever I was doing the, uh, the preview shit. Now I will actually sit here. All right. Let's see if I can actually get to this area. I'm dying now. Oh shit. Run, right. Run. Run, 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 run. Your arrows mean nothing to me. Now what we need to do is twist this and then hop off because what this does is this actually affects both of the elevator. Oh, I missed it. And I died. If you land on that um, bookshelf, that chest there contains a special crossbow called the Avalon. It's basically a crossbow that shoots three crossbow bolts at the same time. Um, not the greatest weapon. I mean, it sounds cool, but like that's the limit of how cool it is. It sounds cool. It's not actually that good. 
None of the crossbows in this game are particularly good. I mean, maybe the heavy crossbow if you're doing like a crossbow only run, but like... If you're doing that, you're either insane or nobody loved you. Which, to be fair, if you're playing Dark Souls, <laughs> you already have pr similar problems. Come on. Da 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 da. Get behind, 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 behind. Oh, you teleporting bastard. Alright, well, I'm not even gonna fucking waste my. Oh, that's right. I have to lower. I have to go down one level. Duh. Oh, that didn't knock you down long enough? Fuck you. Oh, you dropped something. Crystal Straight Sword. Um, I guess I should probably touch on what's so special about crystal weapons. Um, every... Okay, it's... I don't even know where to start, to be honest. Ow, 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 ow. Run, 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 I don't care if I get shot by an arrow, I just need to heal. Alright, crystal weapons. Um, every weapon has a way you can modify them, except crystal weapons. I don't think crystal weapons are modifiable. At least not with the traditional way that most weapons are. Um, however you can- Dude. Like, actually piss off. Um... Crystal weapons in particular, though, follow their own... Or they have they follow the traits of what a crystal weapon modification has, which is they have a lot of good damage, but they are not repairable. The, the more you use them, uh, the less time you have to use them at all. So, I do not recommend using crystal weapons or upgrading a weapon to crystal, because you cannot reverse a weapon once you've made it crystal. Anyway, time to upgrade this bonfire, because I never did, because I completely forgot to. But, eh, now's a better time than never, so. And with this, we have opened that little gateway from upstairs down to there, which allows us to access the entrance to the Crystal Cavern from this area of the Duke's Archive. Um, if you had been talking to Big Hat Logan, he would be in here. But unfortunately, I've not been talking to him. So I will not be finding him in here. I haven't really been doing any one side quests. Which, to be fair, is fine. You don't need to do any one side quest. Uh, you're not a medic. What are you? Oh, the sorcerer is shit. Um, I know there is a chest. Okay, that's a mimic. That's not. Oh, this is the key you need to go actually go back and save Big Hat Logan from his cell down at the bottom of the tower that we were stuck in earlier. Um, that, that room where all the tentacle monsters came from. Yeah, there is a cell in the back of that room. That is where Big Hat Logan is being kept hostage. And you can go back there and save him once you get that key. I am going to avoid all the enemies in this area. These enemies are kind of tough. Um, they can be stun locked. They're not, they don't have horribly high poise. Um, I don't, I've never, I've never played a dex for this area, so I wouldn't know if dex can stun lock them. I know strength builds can pretty easily. But right now we are in the Crystal Cavern, which is kind of, I guess, the last ditch effort to kind of protect himself from you. Because Seath is the first great lord on our list of. Great, gathering every great lord's soul to succeed Gwyn, I guess is what someone would say. Um, now, you'll notice that we are kind of at an impasse here. There is a deep-ass cavern. But what you'll also notice that if you've played online, you'll know what that is. Also, there's some in the tutorial. That is a text box right there. And you'll notice that we have some... Th um, kind of like snowflake looking things dropping from the ceiling that are kind of like disappearing whenever they touch like or whenever they get past a certain point here that is because there's an invisible floor here this is the land of invisible floors we just got to follow where these little sparkles are falling 
And actually, there's an easier path if we go this way. Gotta get around him though. That if we go this way, we can follow this path. Now you just kind of have to, it's kind of, don't look down. Don't look down. It's uh, it's not a good look. Um, I'm gonna head this way. And I don't know if you can see it. That glow back there, that is where Seath is. But first we have a few friends to deal with. I can aggro them one by one. Yeah. Um, these guys will follow you into C Serena if you're not careful. Because the fog gate isn't there right now, these guys can actually go into the arena. So we need to be careful right at this minute. Like most enemies with the Zweihander in particular, they can be easily stun locked just by power attacking and backing up. And die within a few hits, obviously. I'm gonna try to lure another one. Another one in the corner back there. Yep, got one. Alright. I somehow got 2,500 souls. Maybe one of the crystal guys commits suicide or something. To be fair, if I was one of them, I probably would too. So I think they're supposed to be like experiments of Seath or whatever. And they're like, they're formerly human or something. I don't know. All I know is that their existence is not a pleasant one. Come on. You know you want to attack me. Look at that stamina recharge. Tell me that ain't useful. Uh oh. I got a little too greedy. And we're getting to a point in the game where we're actually going to be able to get another upgrade door Estus soon. Oh god, was there another one? There was another one. What the hell happened? Why was the animation so long on that? Fuck. I'm kind of in a bad spot right now. I think if I'm able to walk far enough away from them, they'll... Oh, they can't get through here. Can they? Can they? Okay, that one can. But dealing with one of them is infinitely easier than dealing with three of them. Or I think I was only fighting two of them, but still, you get my point. God damn, are you serious? I'm literally wasting all my estes on this guy. Oh no, 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 no. I haven't even healed from the first time he hit me. I do need to heal now, though. Back up. Okay, do I, I do have humanity equipped good? I think it's only one more. No, it's going to be maybe three more heads, actually. No, I'll just do more. Dead. Okay, finally. Jesus Christ. Okay. And it sucks that I used half of my essence on this area because if you're smart, you can get through without using any. Because this fight up ahead is not exactly an easy fight. I mean, he's probably one of the... He's probably the easiest of all the Great Lords. But... That doesn't mean I'm not still going to take damage. I could get cursed again. And I'll be a very unhappy camper if I get cursed again.
There he is. Seeth the Scaleless. And he's very unhappy because we have found the source of his immortality. Now, he, like I said, he is immortal. However, this... Now he isn't. He is now a mortal being like the rest of us. And he hates it. Which attack you're doing? Get close. If he does his side sweeping attack like that, that's the telltale sign for you to get close. If he does that, that means you gotta run like hell. Get as far away from him as you can. You touch these crystals, like we had, like we saw earlier, you get cursed. Now, he has a few moves where he summons crystals to attack. All you gotta do is pay attention to his face, and you'll know which one he's doing. Now, if I could get close enough to hit him, that'd be great. Okay, he's gonna do the one we have to get close. Oh, and he's doing his AoE, he's doing his AoE. Damn it. Oh god, he's close to me. Oh god, I didn't know how close he was. What's up, bro? Another close in attack. Try to save some stamina, because he might try to do his AoE again. Ow. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know, and I can't move now, because if I move, I'm going to get cursed. Give me just a moment. All right. <laughs> I went and bought a curse purging stone from her. We're gonna use one of those. Back to full health. And actually, I don't know where I can buy gold pine resin, but unless we have some. No, I didn't think so. I know where we can get some because oh, that's right. I don't have the key for this area up ahead, so I can't actually get it. Maybe I can buy some from the merchant over here. Hold on, let me check. Or maybe he sells the key. If he sells the key, then I might be a little bit. Well, I mean, I'm not using boss souls anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Sorry, I'm just mumbling to myself because I'm strategizing, I guess you could say. If you go this way, we never went this way before, there is a merchant down here. I have what I'm looking for. I think this is actually what I'm looking for. Thank you, Kai. The residence key. You can open doors around the undead berg. And I think... That might just be what I'm looking for. So if we follow this way, we came this way once before when we were on our way to the Taurus Demon. We should be able to open this door. Yes, we can. And back behind this door is a chest we saw before. And inside here is gold pine resin. I'm gonna quickly use a homeward bone to teleport back to the last bonfire I saved at. And if you give me just a minute, I'll meet you back at Seath's Arena. Alright, and we are back. We are just outside Seath's Arena. I have equipped my gold pine resin. And now that the fog gate is there, these guys cannot follow us into Seath's Arena. So we're not even gonna waste our time with them. Run around him, run around him, run around him. Fog gate time. Alright. The crystal should. A crystal is not still destroyed. Ah, and here's the funny thing about curse. If you become cursed, your corpse is saved for your, your next life to see. Alright. Activate our gold pine resin. Enchant her weapon with electricity. And since he is a dragon, dragons are weak to electricity. It's 
stay close to him. Hit him a few times. Oh, that's his one where you gotta get far away. Not necessarily far away. Just don't be close to him when he does that. He has a few melee attacks too, but he, oh shit. He does prefer to use his magic. After all, he is a sorcerer. Some would say he was, I think he might actually be the first sorcerer. I believe he brought magic to Lordran. Try to convince him to, oh shit. Oh shit, I'm gonna run. He can also do a fan-like attack like that. Close, close. Oh, and it would appear my enchantment wore off. He tends to do some of these attacks in tandem. So just assume if he does a close up attack, he's going to do a far away attack. And then he's, he might do his AOE attack. It's all about just paying attention to his face. What's his plan now? Close up attack. And now he's going to go for a claw attack. Oh, AOE attack. Run, 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 run like hell, run like hell, run like hell, run like hell. Am I far enough away? Not really. Damn it! And now we don't have the gold pine resin that we want. I didn't think this boss was going to be a wall. But I'm out of time. I hope you guys had a, had a good time watching this episode. Fuck. I didn't want to leave it off like this, but I guess I have to. If you enjoyed, press like. Um, I'll figure out a way to get more gold pine resin. Or we might just have to do the fight without it. He's not, like I said, he's not a hard boss. I don't know why I'm struggling. But, you know, things happen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.